Hi. Hi, my Stitchy friends. Um, my name is Jo. Welcome you on my channel, Stitching Jo. Um, today, I come to you with a little bit of an progress. Um, bit of finish. Obviously a haul. There cannot be a video without a haul. And a couple of other things. First, maybe, um, a finish. Um, one of my friends has um, a Facebook group for people who like to stitch samplers and the primitive charts. And um, she's always kind of organizing competitions and things um, for various occasions and um, recently she announced the Christmas competition but the trick to her competitions is that <coughs> excuse me um, the things that we show need to be fully finished it was a kind of Because as, well, you won't know, but um, Samper's primitive stitching was not as popular in Poland um, as everywhere else. And she kind of, she made it a move to push people to try new things and try new finishes. So, and it's great. It's honestly great. <clears throat> so, um, she announced, not so long ago, a Christmas competition. And you can make two stitches for it. They need to be fully finished. Um, and this is the first one that I've made for it. Um, it's a Mill Hill kit. But it's done on a wooden kind of a kind of a canvas. It's kind of a wooden canvas. It's 14 count. It's made to measure by a girl in Ukraine. She also adds um, pre-cut felt to finish. And this is my gnome for for the competition. Earlier in the year. I've made a second one and these are two out of five they're ready they're beautiful I absolutely love them it's not a time for a Christmas I mean it is now it is but it wasn't three months ago when I finished this one and I have it displayed in my stitch corner all the time because I absolutely love them I'm hoping to perhaps maybe finish one more this year. I've got uh, blanks for a whole set of those five. I don't have any of the newest series. Um, they didn't seem as pretty to me. They're kind of too, too bland. So, yeah. I finished the Gnome with Holly. And... I am very happy with it. Very happy. Um, also, when it comes to kind of finishes and finishing things, I kind of I've made um, some new Christmas pins. Um, some of them are this kind with the beads. Some of them are just simple metal ones. And a plastic one because I bought a new um, sunflowers and I needed to try it out. So yeah, I need to stitch now some Christmas ornaments um, to put them in. Oh no, I just let them sit over here nicely. Um, another thing, um, I've started another. Christmas stitch, obviously. 
it was one of those days yesterday exactly <laughs> it was one of those days when i i just kind of didn't know what i want and then i took out a couple of um dimension skits winter dimension skits and i asked my friends what do you think which one and kind of the votes were divided equally between both of them but then one of them was significantly smaller because it's done on 14 count obviously uh, than the other one on 18 count and one of the girls said funny thing how about to do it for a Christmas competition as well you can do it so why not I've started it it's obviously it's not a sampler or primitive stitch but for the competitions you can do anything so why not so I have started this kit Spit it out of the packet so you can see it better. I have started Winter Memories. It's a old kit. This one. It's from 2005, so not as old, but it's um. Well, it is old, but I've got much older kits in my collection. But it's out of print. And it's very hard to get. Um, so I thought, why not? And it's fairly easy because looking at the skit, there is a lot of unstitched plays left on it. And obviously, majority of it, it's half stitches. Whether the dimensions get on 18 count are terrible. I swear, 18 counts, 18 count and a five strands of floss, it's, it's ridiculous. Well, they look beautiful, but it's still ridiculous. This one is done on 14 count, so definitely much easier to stitch. So why not? So I started it yesterday. I've managed to find a digital pattern for it on my software so I'm stitching using digital pattern and it goes much much faster than using paper um, look at the amount of pluses it's it's gonna be fun but there are beautiful colors purples blues greens and this is how far I've got yesterday. Uh, I've swept Ada for 28 count Joblin, which will be the same size, 14 count to 28 count, the same thing. And it's beautiful. It's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait for the evening to sit and stitch. Um, because obviously now I'm doing something else. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's going to be quite hectic again because next week, end of next week, my mother is coming to visit for two weeks. So, it will be fun time decorating the house. That's always her job. Um, it's kind of our tradition that she always comes for the decorating the house for Christmas. And she decorates the Christmas tree with the kids. So it's lovely. It's lovely. Uh, and I've worked on I've worked on my Jack Frost tree farm. As you can see, I've finished the biggest part of it, the top. And it's such a pleasure to work with it. Oh my goodness, I just, I love this stitch. As you can see, I'm using my, um, I moved it onto a frame. These are frames from Embroidery Nook. 
on Etsy. I love her frames. Um, I absolutely love her frames. I've got all the sizes. Um, I will show you, but I've got to put it away now. And I don't want to make too much noise because I don't have too much time. But recently I received from her um, the newest mini frame, which is only like 30 centimeters wide. And then it's got those cute little sides. I love them. Uh, as you can see, my frames are personalized, but yeah. And the way you can stretch the fabric on them, it's it's brilliant. So this is my Jack Frost Tree Farm. I'm using 28 count Cashel linen. And I have substituted quite a lot of loss in this one because the kind of a white that was in the pattern for it was barely visible. With the white dots on the fabric, it looks it looked dirty, honestly. It looked more like like a cream brownish. It didn't look well, so I've substituted um, substituted it all for um, just a simple white from from my stash, and most of the color colors are also just picked from my stash. I tend to not buy any more fancy flosses, um, as I've acquired quite a big of a collection from someone who wasn't stitching and he just came across a big bunch of, of flosses. Let's say I've got a whole drawer of them. So I'm using what I've got. I'm not buying anymore. A uh, little needle minder made by me. And that's it. It's beautiful. I love it. And I love stitching on it. It's very good for kind of an evenings when when I don't necessarily I am tired and I want to stitch something but I don't want to concentrate too much like on a dimensions kit. Sometimes you just need to put a little bit more effort to dimension kits than to a simple stitch. So I absolutely love this pattern. It's, it's beautiful. What can I say? Another stitch from Dimensions. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm coming back to my love for Dimensions. Um, their Christmas patterns, their Christmas kits are definitely my favorite of all. Definitely. So, and this is a stocking. And this is a piece of a stocking. Um, let me find a full photo for you. This is a stocking I'm working on. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, I've got kind of... I got up to here, sort of. I've got this part done. It's around 15%. I think 13 or 15 percent so far and I don't need to change the name because my son's name is Alexander as well so but you know what I've been stitching on it uh, a couple of days ago and then I'm thinking to myself and I've texted my friend saying you know what I don't have a fireplace anymore in my house We've demolished the fireplace two years ago. Where the hell am I going to hang all those stockings now? I mean all of those stockings. So far this is my first one from Dimensions. But... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I do not know. But I'll finish it, obviously. One day. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And another little stitch from Dimensions again. 
uh, it's um is it a toy shop it's a toy shop yes it's a toy shop as an as usual um no dimension cider nope i'm stitching this one on 32 count lagana and that's how it's gonna look it's a beautiful little stitch absolutely love it love it love it love it it's gorgeous so here we go off we go into the back and i think it's time for some stitchy goodies stitchy goodies uh oh where's this one that must be stocking no, that's not enough for a stocking. That's not enough for a stocking, just this. Yeah. Let's do it. I... I have signed up for... <clears throat> uh, Puntini Puntini Advent Calendar. And... I can tell you guys, I haven't came across anything as good as this. Um, I mean, this year we've kind of organized between ourselves with, with my group um, our own advent calendars. Uh, kind of a, on the basis of a secret Santa, but we were preparing 24 tiny gifts all through the year. And then we send them to each other. And we were kind of looking for stitchy calendars, but there wasn't much. I know last year there was a um, patrol rabbit calendar. And obviously there is caterpillar cross stitch, there is more designs. There is um, there is a couple of other ones, but I kind of, with some of them, I've noticed that you don't get your money worth. Because if I'm going to pay like £70 for something that's going to give me materials to do one, one little picture, which I don't even know what it's, what is it going to be, kind of, because, you know, if you're going to buy a pattern, you know what you're buying, but if I'm going to be, I mean, for £70, you can get a really, a lot, you know, and not DMCs, and I'm not saying the DMCs are wrong, but for £70, you can kit up a really nice pattern instead of something simple and basic. So, when I saw Punti Punti calendar, straight away me and a couple of my friends bought it. And Paula is such a nice person. Oh my goodness. I, you know, we've spoke to her on inappropriate messages and... She agreed to sell them to us, um, not through Etsy, because obviously they charge us on Etsy, they, char they charge her as well, so we've done that privately. She asked us, <coughs> excuse me guys, what patterns do we already have? So she's not going to double them. And the parcels came a week or two ago. And I'm going to be making, I'm kind of 99% sure that I will make a Flossmas this year. Because I'm going to have two advent calendars to open throughout the December. And this, what Paula did, is definitely worth showing. 
you guys let me just open the top and show you and that's the what you get in the calendar you get a chart exclusive chart with a skein of um, floss with a tiny button of Santa and this chart is not a part of a calendar you can take it out and stitch it straight away it's beautiful it's beautiful and then you'll get a handwritten card from Paula and you get 24 presents to open throughout December um, there are charts, there are buttons, there are different things. I cannot wait. I stashed it high, high, high on the shelf, on the top, top of the bookcase, because it's really, really, really tempting. And apart from that, um, there's also coming... Christmas box from Manny de Donna. Um, I was a little bit late for to sign up for it, but I spoke to her and she's got a couple of them left. So she's gonna ship one to me um, and she'll be back in Rome. Yeah, next week it will be like Christmas. My mum's gonna come with a suitcase of stuff and there is a lot of stitchy stuff over there. Hopefully I'll find a minute to maybe show you guys what she has bought but for now I'll show you what I bought uh, yesterday. Yesterday's um, purchase from Facebook Marketplace. Clementine from Plum Street Samplers. Beautiful. Funny little cat sitting on a pumpkin. I think it's a pumpkin or no. I'm not sure. But it's beautiful. Uh, and another, there was a. I made an order in one, one to three stitch. Uh, as soon as the new dimension skits showed up. I haven't bought a lot of them. I haven't bought all of them. I bought only two because these two were the nicest to me. Uh, I liked them the most. So, oops. Let's do a little unboxing so I can show you without a glare. Um, oh, those animals are cute. Very good. There is a grey squirrel, red squirrel, beautiful. Birdies, a number of things. I love this kit. Absolutely love it. And another one, it's something new that they do. And it's, um, excuse me. And these are ornaments on a perforated paper. I'm not a big fan of perforated paper, I need to admit. Um, so more likely they're going to be done on plastic right in this color. Or something similar. But they're gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. Another thing, you know my love for hands on designs. I love their stitches. Uh, and this was released last year on the Jingle Ball. And I really wanted it. And it's fine in shops. So I couldn't stop myself. Uh, I would have finished it a little bit differently. But still, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And I also bought this chart from Milk Hill. I saw it, I mean to be honest, 
photo is terrible. It's absolutely terrible. The stitches are so uneven. So wonky. It looks awful, but I saw it stitched up nicely. And I really loved it. So I got it. It's just a chart, nothing else. Um, when it comes to my house, I put another couple of kits. I bought the big kits, uh, sticks, um, autumn, then enjoy life. This one's definitely for a spring. It will be stitched in the spring, definitely. And one more, which I have already pulled apart. I already have fabric ready. Because now I'm not planning on stitching it on a perforated paper. Nope. Um, and this is Wish on a Star. I've already got um, I just received today digital pattern done for it. Um, this is the paper. I don't think that if I would stitch it on a perforated paper, it, it would survive for a long time. Not with... No. No, no. Beautiful colors of the flosses. Absolutely beautiful. Pack of beads. Not a lot of beads. So, yeah. That will definitely be a start very soon. Um, looking at the pattern, it's a very easy one. So, hopefully... Hopefully it's gonna get done soon. And I think that's the last thing from my shopping. Um, I bought a couple of fabrics and one, two, three stitch. A couple of fabrics for some bags or organizers. This one is beautiful. With animals. And and the cats. And this one. Kind of a nice background fabric. I think that's all. I think that's all when it comes to my shopping and finishes and everything that I was stitching throughout last couple of weeks. Yeah, but I cannot wait for December. I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait. It's gonna be awesome. December will be good, very good. So, keep warm, stitch, and take care, guys. Bye-bye.